Hi, in this section I'm discussing Angular animations. Animation provides the illusion of motion. HTML elements change styling over time. Without animations, web page transitions can seem abrupt and jarring. Angular's animation system is built on CSS functionality, which means you can animate any property that the browser considers animatable. This includes positions, sizes, transforms, colors, borders, and more. Let's see it in action. Oh, bring it on! To enable animations, import Browser Animations module, which introduces the animation capabilities into your Angular Root application module. In the component file, let's import methods that we will be using in this example. Trigger, State, Style, Animate, and Transition. Add a metadata property called Animations within the component decorator. You put the trigger that defines an animation within the Animations metadata property. Let's animate a transition that changes a single HTML element from one state to another. For example, you can specify that the button displays either open or closed based on the user's last action. When the button is in the open state, it's visible and yellow. When it's in the closed state, it's transluent and blue. An animation requires a trigger so that it knows when to start. The trigger function collects the states and transitions and gives the animation a name so that you can attach it to the triggering element in the HTML template. Now, let's define is open property as true and create a toggle method to toggle this property. We will be using this to trigger our animation. In HTML, let's add a button, which we'll be calling this toggle method. Let's attach an open-close trigger, which we will define later, to an element in the components template by wrapping the trigger name in the brackets and adding at symbol in front. Then you can bind the trigger to a template expression using standard Angular property binding syntax as shown here, where open close is the name of the trigger and expression evaluates to a defined animation state. Now let's define these states. Use the Angular state function to define different states to call at the end of each transition. This function takes two arguments, a unique name like open or close and a style function. Use the style function to define a set of styles to associate with a given state name. You must use camel case for style attributes that contain dashes such as background color or wrap them in quotes. In this code snippet, multiple style attributes are set at the same time for the state. In the open state, the button has a height of 200 pixels, an opacity of 1, and a yellow background color. In the following closed state, the button has a height of 100 pixels an opacity of 0.8 and a background color of blue. Now we need to define an animation transition between the states. The transition function accepts two arguments. The first argument accepts an expression that defines the direction between the two transition states. And the second argument accepts one or a series of animate steps. This example provides a state transition from open to closed with a one-second transition between states. In the second example, we are adding state transition from the closed state to the open state with a 0.5 second transition animation. However, you can define a bidirectional state as well with this syntax. Animate method takes one required argument, which is duration, but you can add two additional parameters if you need. Second argument is a delay, and it's also defined with time units. And the last argument is easing. Some of the values you can use are easing, ease out, or 
ease in out depending on if you want animation to start slow, finish slow, start fast or whatever combination you need. You learn to add animation to a transition between two states using style and state along with animate for timing. If you have any questions or comments feel free to drop it in the comment section. And please subscribe if you want to support this channel and also stay updated with the latest tutorials. And I see you guys in the next tutorial.